beginning i highlight upon how i as an individual by consuming tobacco contribute in building unhealthy and unfair world on the other hand why should we say no to tobacco by quitting tobacco how can i help to build fairer and healthier world i will quickly brief on these issues and at the same time unfold today's theme currently we are not only facing covid 19 pandemic but much bigger tobacco pandemic let us first reiterate impact of tobacco on our lives and how directly and indirectly we are contributing to tobacco disaster tobacco harms an individual the family and the entire society we all are aware that tobacco consumption in any form makes the individual vulnerable to developing number of ailments like cancer respiratory cardiovascular diseases and many more it is not fair for our body cells and systems to receive toxins released by tobacco cells and systems in our body have right to live healthy it is not fair even to your family members and children as well as colleagues who have to inhale the smoke passively when you smoke in their vicinity and live on the contaminated ground where you have spit after tobacco consumption we have right to live in clean and safe environment smoking and spitting makes the home work area and our environment unsafe how tobacco makes the world and our planet unhealthy and unsafe if you look at life cycle of tobacco from its cultivation to consumer waste we will realize that we are directly and indirectly participating in making the world unhealthy we consume tobacco thus we encourage its manufacturing and supplying as well all these ultimately damages our planet's ecosystem the alarming progressive rise in tobacco consumption is a major and serious issue today tobacco does not just negatively impact the health of individuals it also endangers the health of the environment tobacco cultivation marketing and consumption all are devastating to us and our surroundings if i ask a question what are our basic needs to live healthy a simplest answer is we need safe environment clean and safe air clean and safe water clean and safe food that's all tobacco makes all these unsafe for us makes us and our world unhealthy let us see how tobacco adversely affects land and soil currently 132 lakh of acres of fertile land in the world is used to grow tobacco that land had to be cleared of trees and more trees will be cut off in the future thousands of hectares of land become unsuitable not only for tobacco cultivation but even for carrying out routine agriculture when farmers grow tobacco less land is available for food crops and growing tobacco diverts agricultural land that could have been otherwise used to grow food please note those 132 lakh acres of land could produce enough food to feed up to 2 crore people farmers grow tobacco thinking that they will earn more money and feed their families but the reality is something different tobacco cultivation does not give enough money to farmers to feed their families largest tobacco manufacturing countries have 27% undernourished people imagine if this land is used for cultivating food instead of tobacco then at least food scarcity in the world will reduce significantly people will get enough food and they do not have to die because of hunger and malnutrition related diseases tobacco is a very sensitive plant which required a lot of attention and caring tobacco is often grown as a single crop which completely drain of nutrients from the soil tobacco requires six times potassium than most of the other crops and the once the soil has been drained of it even tobacco can no longer grow there neither can most other plants and crops on the other hand farmers heavily use inorganic chemical fertilizers to promote growth of tobacco as they also use herbicide to kill growth of other unwanted plants 
tobacco also particularly vulnerable to pests hence farmers heavily use pesticides this all indicates that tobacco growing puts thousands of tons of chemicals into the soil these chemicals poison other plants and bugs and can build up over time making thousands of hectares of fertile land unusable for any type of agriculture tobacco product waste also contains over 7000 toxic chemicals including known human carcinogens which percolate into our soil now let us see the manufacturing side also tobacco industry as a whole produces enormous quantities of wastes close to 250 crore kilogram of manufacturing waste is produced by this industry per year in addition to 21 crore kilograms of toxic waste trees are also cut for the purpose of curing tobacco now what is curing curing is a process of drying tobacco leaves and it is estimated that close to 5 crore trees are cut every year for cut this curing purposes trees are also cut for the paper production tobacco manufacturer use around 6.5 kilometers of paper every hour to wrap and package cigarettes as well as other tobacco products as you all are aware that mostly cigarettes are lit using a matches or gas filled lighters if for example one wooden match is used to light two cigarettes the 6 lakh crore cigarettes smoked globally each year would require the destruction of about 90 lakh trees to produce 3 lakh crore matches hence deforestation is also associated with land degradation or desertification in the form of soil erosion reduced soil fertility and productivity and a disruption of water cycles with 6 trillion cigarette manufactured annually about 300 billion packages are made for tobacco products assuming each pack each empty pack weighs about 6 grams this amounts to about 18 lakh tons of packaging waste composed of paper ink cellophane foil and glue the waste from cartons and boxes used for distribution and packing brings the total annual solid post consumption waste to at least 20 lakh tons non biodegradable materials are also generated by the e cigarette which is another emerging issue e waste generated by e cigarettes like batteries and cartridges are not reusable or recyclable remnants of tobacco and other by products of the discarded waste are used for landfill and this leads to soil contamination the wide use of plastic sachets or pouches has become a current environmental concern in number of countries like in india also where smokeless form of tobacco such as gutka and pan masala etc are packed and sold millions of tons of packaging waste much of it is plastic ends up as a garbage or helps to overwhelm landfills around the world hazardous substances are released by remnants of cigarette butts including arsenic lead nicotine and formaldehyde in practice cigarette butts butts tossed on streets and near water source do not biodegrade under optimal condition it can take at least 9 months for a cigarette butt to degrade the sun may break down cigarette butts little bit but only into smaller pieces of a waste which ultimately contaminate water and our soil tobacco also contaminates food product it is especially worrisome because heavy metals that are absorbed by the plants through the the soil which is contaminated uh, which further contaminates the food crops which is extremely toxic for everyone nicotine is also another major issue some studies have shown that plants not only absorb nicotine through their roots but also inhale nicotine through the air 
When we consume such contaminated food, it affects our health. This is not fair for those who do not use tobacco by any means but becomes victims of eating such contaminated food. Tobacco also adversely affects water. Tobacco manufacturing is extremely water intensive industry. Significant amounts of water are used for tobacco manufacturing, the processes actually, which can put severe stress on our water, uh, local water reserves. Water gets contaminated easily with harmful tobacco ingredients that have accumulated in the soil as well as pesticides, fertilizers and cigarette butts go straight down to streams, lakes, rivers, seas and oceans. What's most concerning is that all these pollutants also reach drinking reservoir, the water reservoir and can pose a significant health hazard for humans and water kingdom that is aquatic life. Even marine life is threatened by cigarette butt pollution. Research shows that certain algae die after being exposed to such contaminated water. Those algae are at the bottom of food chain. All other sea animals or organisms are feeding on them and they get poisoned. This chain reaches all the way up to the humans who eat fish and other sea products. Tobacco not only adversely affects soil and water, but even results in air pollution. Tobacco smoke is a complex mixture of thousands of chemical compounds in the form of gases and microscopically, microscopically small droplets suspended in the air. Third hand smoke means the long lasting residue resulting from smoke that accumulates in the dust, in objects and on surfaces in indoor environment such as walls, floors, clothes and furniture and collects in house dust. This residue can persist for years without proper removal and exposure to it is a harmful for everyone. Tobacco industry release huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere every year like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and pollutes indoor and outdoor environments and also greatly contribute to global warming. Tobacco smoking is a major cause of both house and forest fires throughout the world. Smoking is one of the leading causes of the residential fires and thousands of homes and apartments burn down every year because of improperly discarded cigarette butts. Thousands die in fires worldwide every year because of smoking. Both the batteries and e-cigarette devices contain hazardous substances such as lead and mercury. Even lithium ion batteries in e-cigarettes have been known to explode and cause fires in garbage trucks and waste management plants. So we understand, tobacco industry not only creates deforestation, but it also contributes in a huge air pollution, makes this vicious cycle spells doom for the environment as well as our lives. Tobacco is also a disaster for the wildlife. Tobacco is also toxic to animal kingdom. Scientists have found cigarette butts in stomachs of hundreds of other species such as birds, cats, dogs, chicken and many more. Also, a lot of forest dwelling animals are affected by the tobacco industry because of deforestation. Deforestation means loss of natural habitat affecting biodiversity which seriously endanger number of species. Last point today which I will be highlighting, I would like to highlight is tobacco also affects world's economy. The economic cost of a waste generated by the tobacco industry, its effect on climate change and the loss of productivity resulting from poor health of people all must be taken into consideration in order to account for the full cost of this tobacco pandemic. During the year 2017, every Indian who smoked cigarettes spent around 1200 Indian rupees monthly and those who preferred BD spent approximately 285 rupees per month. More than 
6 lakhs children between 10 to 14 years of age and approximately 9 crore adults above 15 years of age use tobacco every day. Tobacco kills more than 70 lakh people every year and this number is alarmingly rising. Tobacco harms almost every organ of the body, makes our body vulnerable and prone to diseases. WHO also has reported that use of tobacco burdens the global economy with an estimated 1.4 trillion US dollar on healthcare costs for treating the disease caused by tobacco and lost human capital from tobacco attributable sicknesses and death. The fires caused by cigarettes do tremendous damage to the environment beyond their cost in terms of lives lost and direct economic loss. Thus, to conclude, every effort made will move us a step nearer to a world that recognizes tobacco as a serious problem for the entire planet. And it is imperative that we must act fast. The human, financial and environmental costs are simply too great for us not to ignore. Individuals who use tobacco in any form contribute to destruction of self, destruction of others as well as destruction of the world. Individuals who use tobacco make our planet unhealthy which is not fair for other humans, animals, birds, plants in general and the whole planet in particular. So, do we want to be part of this? I don't think so. Definitely not. We want to be healthier, happier and we want others to be in the same boat. We have to say no to tobacco. Quitting tobacco can be challenging. Commit to quit tobacco needs self-discipline, self-persistence, self-perseverance and self-determination. It needs sincere efforts and mindset to quit tobacco. Family and friends need to support this journey and help an individual to on every step forward, especially when his or her mood goes down, motivation decreases, depression pops up, goals seem shaken. In all these situations, others can help that individual to stick to the goal and continue quitting efforts. Individual efforts and strong willpower are very important to reach the goal of quitting tobacco and creating fairer and healthier world. Thank you.